this video I'm going to show the 11,000 mile test results and the difference between a 2 micron AMSOIL pleated bypass filter and a 2 micron cellulose depth filter which is basically the toilet paper rolls which are really tight this one's triple R I'll have the part number in the description it's been about 10 days since I ran this van I just got back from vacation and let's see how the oil galleries pressurize we'll see how quickly they pressurize right here on the pressure gauge and then we'll also see by the light and I'm going to use the remote start because it energizes the 12 volt first and then it does the starter so we'll see in the video how long it takes to pressurize up which is normally less than uh, about a quarter of a second so here goes the start so you can see it started quickly which means there wasn't any air in the bypass uh, filter and now the oil's cold so the oil pressure is at the max uh, relief setting and once the oil warms up the pressure will drop back down to about 20 which is what my normal idle pressure is I have about 11,000 miles using the triple R filter I haven't added any oil and I have good oil color as you can see there here's the oil test results I did two oil tests oil analyzers is what I've been using those are the the testing company for AMS oil and they stopped doing their particle count I talked to their technician about why and they said the particle count was basically based on the 10 micrometers microns and all these other numbers are just multiples of the 10 so their poor blockage they would just basically count the 10 micron particles and they said the test is not very accurate in the industry's getting away from it so my last sample they wouldn't even do the particle count test so I ended up going to Blackstone because I didn't change the oil so I sent it in and they're still doing the particle count test but the only thing they have in common is the 14 micron range so I was showing 152 at 11,000 miles with the cellulose depth filter and if I compare to my previous that does put me better than the 181 but one of these runs like the 107 I believe I ran without a bypass filter so I'm having a hard time seeing that the bypass filter is actually doing anything and with the test results so a uh, couple other differences here oil analyzers basically says change oil because the base number which is your acid neutralizers are getting too low so they're flagging it as orange at 2.23 Blackstone Labs is showing a base number of 2.6 and they basically said hey you're good as long as you're greater than a base number of one so on this run I'm gonna run the oil out to 15,000 miles I'm gonna recheck with the particle count and I think that basically the 14 micron is gonna be the only significant number because all these others are just multipliers you know of that and Blackstone doesn't even know I have a bypass filter on there they didn't even ask for it so a couple other things here's some trends which is kind of nice on the Blackstone test because I can see universal averages for my Nissan engine with the AMSOIL 5W30 synthetic 
So my numbers are really actually better. Even at 11,000 miles, I'm running better, better numbers on basically everything except copper. And then they did a little comment, you know, in there that basically says I might just be breaking in the engine and getting some copper just to keep an eye on it. But everything else was pretty much lower. Molybdenum is actually an additive. Some of these are additives like calcium. That's one of your base to neutralize acid. And everything else though, my numbers are actually lower than the universal average from checking there. And then if I look at the oil analyzers report and they don't really show a industry average for that engine but on the last oil sample they're basically saying okay oil analyzer is basically saying change the oil and so it's you know I have the bypass filters installed on the gasoline engine they might not be really doing anything I have it on two vehicles the, the cellulose depth and then I you have the AMS oil pleated filter on the other vehicle so yeah I'll run it out to 15,000 miles but I'm probably going to end up just changing oil every 10,000 and uh, and of course you want to use a good oil like a you know full synthetic and the only synthetics are going to be the mobile one and or the uh, AMS oil synthetic so don't have really conclusive evidence that the bypass filter does much oh here's a, another thing okay here's a couple pictures of the dipstick so here's 10,000 miles with the pleated 2 micron filter. Now notice the sidewalk is a little lighter. So I think this was a sunnier day. Here's 11,000 miles with the cellulose depth bypass filter. And you know, the sidewalk's a little darker. The oil's a little darker. Can't really tell by looking at the oil. I was when I was checking that out before you know if anything it seems like the bypass was doing a little better the uh, pleated that is than the cellulose depth bypass but you know I can't I think the cellulose bypass filter would be better but if you're thinking of adding a bypass filter to your engine it's probably not worth it just do your oil changes because my base number is getting so low, I really, I mean, I'm going to go out 15,000 miles just to see what it does. But I'm not expecting to see really great results. I'll have a really low base number. And the base number is critical for keeping your acid down uh, in your oil. Because gasoline byproduct is acid. Acid destroys aluminum. So you don't want to run your oil out, you know, where you're turning your oil into acidic. But that's the results that I've got. And uh, so at 11,000 miles with the depth cellulose bypass filter. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.